Hey everybody, Rich Lang down in the bunker with, yes, you guessed it, our first list video or list video number one. I've been talking about this for a really long time. These are all the lists that we've used in our videos uh, in the past that we've talked about. I tried to show you some of the stuff, but uh, we're finally going to put something together. So welcome. When I first came up with this idea, I wanted something that would be friendly Something you could access and download. I thought about using Google Docs or even producing an ebook or putting all this stuff on a website. Well, you're not getting any of that, at least at this point in time. Um, I may put together a website that you guys can download this stuff or even an ebook in the near future. Uh, but for now, you're getting this very non technical video. So, in this video, we're going to show you numerous lists that I have used and mentioned in many of my prepping videos. We're gonna go through these kind of quick, and I know using YouTube, you really can't uh, stop it. Well, you can stop it and look at it, but you can't take a screenshot of it, which is kind of a bummer, it would be really nice to do. So if you see a list you like, let me know. Send me um, a comment on uh, the YouTube thing, uh, or uh, on, uh, my Facebook page, which is Prep You on Facebook, let me know which list you want. And what we'll do is I will post it uh, to my Prep You Facebook page. Uh, that way you don't really have to worry about writing everything down or if you have a problem stopping the video in, in the right point. So, but anyhow, so you've got that option. So, in many of these lists, you will not need everything based on where you live, where you're going, your personal needs, or your family's needs space available and the redundancy amongst these lists because each list kind of is a little redundant back and forth you also might need additional items based on where you live where you're going your expertise your ability and you might need to improvise or substitute an item on these hey just remember that all of these lists have not been produced by me some are combined from several lists i have found on the internet and some are directly off of other websites or videos. And where possible, I have given credit to the individual or the website. This video contains 37 different lists that you can use to start your journey into the prepping world or enhancing your current supplies. These lists should be considered a good place to start or continue. These lists are not an end-all to everything you need. Use the internet, research different projects, products, and base your purchases on your needs, use of locations, your finances, your order of importance, where you are and where you are going to bug out to. Not all items you purchase will work as expected. And as you start out, you may be purchasing basic level items and will improve as your finances and expertise levels improve or your needs change. As you upgrade, consider trading, selling, or giving items away not needed to family and friends that need these items but can't afford to purchase them. You also might want to consider having bins of stuff that you aren't going to have or need or pack. Uh, could be used that for bartering down the road. Remember, you might actually have many of these items spread out around your home, garage, vehicle, outbuildings, or other locations. Gather them all into one or two spots and place them into kits and bags for easy access and carry. Remember to check the dates on all items. Some items that you think are good forever are not. And do not store hazardous materials indoors. And do donate food items at least three months before the sell-by date or expiration date. Give them to, you know, local food shelters or uh, homeless uh, had one guy say, or feed them to your dog. Not a bad idea. All right, here are the lists in no particular order. And hopefully, what I'll have to do is as I move this stuff around, I'll probably have to move the screen a little bit. So, but here's one. This is first aid kit. And this is just your basic first aid that you should have around. It should be in your car uh, at all times. You could use it at soccer games, football games, uh, at the beach, or whatever. A lot of these, these items are really nice uh, to have. 
Here's a trauma kit. This is the kit that I carry when I go to the range. Uh, when I at work at, uh, at the range, I should say, when I work at the range or when I go to the range, when I go to school, when I'm out and about, uh, I have used this kit at the range, unfortunately. Um, don't need to go into details, but it was uh, well, well used. Bug out trauma kit. If you want to reduce down to uh, a smaller kit for your bug out bag or your get home bag, here's a nice little list that you can use for that. A lot of people ask me what I carry in my car. We talked about this in one of our videos about what we carry in our car. Um, that is a list. Uh, anywhere from, you know, get home bag to a bunch of water. Snacks are always important because I always get hungry. I don't know why. Um, but this is just a uh, good little list to have. As I said before, a lot of these lists I've gotten from other people. Here's a, a few of the lists that I've gotten from a gentleman named Jason Hansen. I'm going to move that over a little bit. Uh, he has a website called spybriefing.com and a couple other ones. He also has a subscription service where he sends you a really nice monthly magazine or monthly pamphlet, really, not so much of a magazine. But he, in this list, he went over everyday carry, you know, if you're out for a run uh, or if you're out with the dogs for a walk. Also, this is an interesting list he came up with. This is everyday carry on a plane. You know, make uh, TSA happy. You know, you don't want uh, want to make TSA too mad. Oh, I just pushed that one the wrong way. Hold on, there we go. Move over a little bit. Um, here's an interesting list I put together. This is bug out bag items by category. You can see here, uh, core kit. That's your just your basic stuff. Uh, the next thing is your shelter kit, which you want. Change For those of you guys that have never camped before, uh, when you're talking about sleeping at night, you don't want to uh, go to sleep in the clothes that you have on during the day. And you definitely do not want to wear the clothes that you sleep in the next day. As you sleep, when you're all covered up, your clothes uh, retain moisture. You want to get out of those. I don't care how cold it is in the tent. Get out of those. You're going to be a lot ha happier and healthier down the road. Here's some more ones. You got your utility kit items, your warmth kit, signal pack. Uh, nice to have. And we also go into, you know, your mess pack. Uh, stuff that you want, for, you know, for uh, cooking and items. Water pack and filtration. Just a couple of different things for filtering. Um, food and beverage pack. I kind of like using the cheesecloth and the coffee filters for getting out some of the bigger stuff before I go to a Walter f uh, water filter or tablets or a life straw. It just uh, makes life easier. Uh, this one here. And your hunting and fishing pack. Just some of the stuff that you want to catch game to eat. And your civilities and hygiene kit. And the last one is miscellaneous. Just miscellaneous stuff that you might want to have around. Uh, I love the steel wool and the 9-volt batteries. I probably could have put that in um, the fire starting section or the food, but it's just a, just a little different. This next one is my everyday carry. This is what is in my everyday carry uh, wherever I go. Uh, I've got, uh, actually it's split into two. Uh, just because some of the stuff I cannot take in the school, obviously, when I'm teaching. Uh, they kind of put a... They don't like that. Let's just put it that way. The next one is comes from Ask a Prepper. Uh, the author is Rich M. Not sure what Rich's last name is. It just said Rich M. Uh, this is 50-plus uh, high-value items to stockpile. I did a little tweaking to it, but I did want to give uh, Rich and askaprepper.com uh, credit for this list because it kind of like got my brain going for some of the things uh, on here. Uh, a lot of items uh, that you see on this list when it's stockpiling, you can take it with you, I mean, depending on your, your vehicle, but you want to make sure that they're ready and good to go. Uh, the biggest thing is I like right there in the middle where it says alcohol, tobacco. 
they are the number one and number two barter items out there um, because people are going to go crazy without cigarettes and just sitting back having a good drink after a long day um, does not does not hurt. This is page two of that list. Repair parts. Repair parts for stuff that you own um, is nice to have. And you've got some different items there for maintenance, for reading, for cooking, keeping bugs off you, pest control. You want to make sure that you have, you know, again, traps. Uh, then all the way down the chlorine bleach. There's so many uses for chlorine bleach. It's uh, it's incredible. Hard candy's a must. Uh, you really want that because it's nice to have a little sweet every once in a while. Uh, this one's by Mark Davis uh, from Prepping101.net. This is building a blackout kit. This is when you don't want people to know where you're at or when the lights go out. It's really good to have. Next list is from the hurricane prep video that we did. And this is your preparation list. Stuff that you need for your home. Stuff to take with. And some of those items you want to remember, those are per person. Now, you don't need a medical first aid kit per person. Uh, but you do want cash, emergency blankets, uh, rain gear and boots and stuff like that. Page two of that goes into some of the other things you might want to have with uh, sanitation kit is probably pretty important real easy to put together uh, not hard and it all fits inside that bucket so that's uh, really good to have believe me when you got to go you got to go right uh, and the last one on that is before you leave important stuff that you need to do before you leave Some basic tools. We talked about basic tools in a couple videos uh, before. And uh, there's kind of a list, emergency supplies. Uh, I know you people, you guys and gals that live in an apartment aren't going to keep plywood sheeting around, nor should you need to. Um, but there's other stuff's nice to have. So, and this is one of two going to the outdoor range. Seems silly to have firearms listed on there, but you do want to make sure that you're taking the firearms with you that you and your buddies discussed on um, taking with. And I've seen guys bring empty uh, rifle box cases because they thought the rifle was in there because they had uh, magazines giving it the weight, but they didn't have their rifle in there. Uh, targets. How many times have you been to the gun to the range? You went ah, targets. I've done it. Uh, then there's an outdoor range kit at the bottom. Just a little stuff that you want to keep with you at all times. This is page two of that. You want to have a repair kit with you, really at all times, even for your firearms. And then additional miscellaneous items. It's nice to have like eyes and ears, batteries, rain gear, because you never want what the weather's going to turn up. A tarp. You can throw a tarp over all your stuff if it starts raining. Uh, real quick or it gets windy. You don't want that sand blowing into your firearms either um, The eyes and ears extra eyes and ears because you never know somebody may forget theirs and going to the range indoor Getting nice to have a little list uh, on both of these I also put if you noticed range IDs if you're a member of the range you're gonna need your ID so Don't forget that especially if you have a electronic gate that uses your ID uh, to open it uh, here's a list we talked about in a couple videos about supplies beyond food and water. Uh, pretty, you know, there are some of these are listed in uh, other lists, but we just kind of threw this onto uh, this list also. I'm a big proponent of if you look at the bottom, plastic store uh, storage, plastic bags, um, could be Ziploc bags, uh, anything like that. Uh, all different sizes. It's nice to put stuff away and secure so they don't get wet. Um, it's just it just makes complete sense. This is a list of different uh, websites that I found. Uh, the tops are mostly, you know, different informational websites. At the bottom, it's all food websites. Right smack dab in the middle there is Philmont Scout Ranch. 
Remember we talked about this in one of the videos that at the end of the season, which basically is mid-August into September, they start selling all their extra freeze-dried food. Uh, and everything is delicious, delicious except for the teriyaki chicken. Uh, I know my son liked it. I think he had mine, so that worked out for him. Uh, but there's a lot of places on here. You've seen some of these others. Uh, I was telling you about Jason Hansen. Uh, it's on there, spybriefing.com. And that Spy and Survival is also his, but don't leave the blanks. Put the Spy and Survival all together. I don't know why I typed it that way. Black Bag Confidential, I believe, is also Jason's. So those are pretty good uh, sites to go to to check things out. Your basic fishing survival kit, we talked about that in the fishing video. Um, really, you saw how easy it is to put all that stuff into a very small kit that you can throw into your bug out bag. Um, this is uh, a list that uh, a couple of us put together. We were just talking about what would you need just for short term. This is a short term sustainability pack, just something to have. Uh, if you got to leave for a short duration, um, but there are supplies other, where, other places, um, this is just something to have with you. Just another list, just throwing it out there. Um, this next one is actually my get home bag, heavy. Uh, this is, uh, I keep it in basically in, in two because you couldn't put this all in one. The reason I say it's heavy is because I actually have a ballistic plate in one of my backpacks. It's nice to throw in the back uh, to have, you know, uh, just for safety, survival. Firearms, two to three magazines, the ballistic plate, flashlights, extra batteries. Now you can see why we're talking heavy as in weight, but it's also heavy because there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, this is a lot heavier uh, than just my uh, normal everyday get home bag and like i said i have these in two different bags it's you know it depends on where i'm going and what i'm doing uh everyday carry light this is stuff that you should have with you every day there's no reason to go anywhere without this stuff uh it's easy this along with the five things that everybody needs we talked about that in a video uh and that's easily put inside of a sandwich bag not this one, but the, the five things you should always carry. I found this uh, on the internet. Uh, they were talking about, you know, putting together a disaster kit. It just kind of goes on, you know, talking about, you know, the water, the food, cleaning supplies, why, first aid kits, uh, lighting, kind of radio. Hand crank radio is awesome. Everybody should have one of those. You should definitely have a weather radio. Uh, solar chargers are important. To have keep your phones going keep other things going uh, two-way radios they aren't that expensive and you can get ones that uh, have served uh, you know always get the ones that at least two miles and have multiple bands so you can switch bands here is a winter vehicle survival kit this is what is in my car um, I always keep that with because some days I don't have I'm not wearing boots and extra clothes and a winter hat. Uh, some days uh, where I go, the weather changes abruptly and you need it. Uh, emergency vehicle repair kit, that's, you know, whatever you deem that. Uh, and I always have in your glove box cash in small denominations. You know, you may need to go to Burger King, you may get hungry. Here's a list, 25 bug out essentials. Just stuff to have. Um, that you want if you look all the way at the bottom polyethylene foam you can get that in various uh, thicknesses I like two inches at least uh, it's great to put between you and the ground for your sleeping bag but it's also good to fold in half and put under your butt so you're not sitting on the ground or on a rock um, getting wet and um, uncomfortable but this is again just that you know Stuff that you should have around in one of your kits could be a bug out bag, your winter bug out bag. Again, you know, you want your bug out bags based on where you're going and where you're coming from. You may need to switch it around summer to winter. Important papers at the ready. You should have 
a a place in your home, whether a safe, if you have guns, you should have guns safe. That's just automatic because you don't want people to get a hold of your guns, especially your kids or other people that could use this, uh, use your firearms in a crime down the road, but more importantly for your family's safety. But at the very least, if you don't have a safe, you should have like one of those small little fireproof uh, document safe in your uh, house secured somewhere so the papers don't get messed up but somewhere in your bug out gear should be copies of all your important papers uh, if you have to evacuate remember you're gonna need two forms of ID to get back into your home and they need your picture on it and they need your address here's a little list I found interesting uh, if you're totally into having your own little um, grocery store in your basement here are some great items to have uh, everything's really important um, and a lot of this stuff lasts a long time if you look all the way at the bottom again uh, two important things pet foods and treats we have a video I'm sure you saw it's how to bug out how to prepare for your pets what you need what you should have uh, in their little uh, bug out bag so it's all set and good to go and the food and the treats and stuff like that inside their bag just gets rotated um, but this list kind of shows you everything you have and we also talked about um, you know stockpiling on a budget when you know you should have stuff that you're using stuff as a backup and your third could be your stockpile so let's take just take nuts or pickles or dried fruit well if there's dried fruit and nuts that you're eating that's the open one then you have a backup to that which is probably in your pantry well then get a third one and put it down in your bunker and then rotate and as you buy uh if you as you finish one just rotate from your pantry into actual use and come down from the stockpile bring that up and then buy one new one for the stockpile um, these are things I always, absolutely, always, always carry with me at all times. The only thing I don't have on there is uh, the five things you should carry. And I don't even know if I have that in a list here. That will probably be the next video. But uh, this is stuff you should always have. If you notice, there's no uh, firearm on there. Uh, but there, uh, well, actually there is. Knife and or uh, CCW and extra magazine. Some places I go I can't carry. We all know that. So um, a knife would be important. Here's a list on items of things no one thinks about, especially for the kids. The kids are going to get antsy. You're going to get antsy. You actually want to have something for them uh, to do. Uh, crayons, coloring books, toys. Uh, don't forget about diapers, wipes, lotions, etc. And guys, if your wife's not so into this whole prepping deal, but you know you need to, need to think about feminine products. Uh, at the very least, it's going to save you from having to run out to the grocery store at uh, 10 o'clock at night because they're out of something. Uh, you'll have it down in uh, your stockpile. Next list is what's in my bug out bag. Uh, this is uh, page one. And I just, I don't have the firearm listed because I know I'm going to have them with me, but I have ammo for everything I'm going to take with me. The, the only extra ammo I don't have on there, which I'm surprised, is uh, uh, green tip, 5.56. Five, uh, I'm not taking anything else. If I'm out on the road and uh, it's a survival situation, I'm not messing around with uh, anything but green tip. Uh, this is the second page of that. And you can see all kinds of good stuff on there. 72 hours worth of food. This is per person. Don't forget that a lot of the stuff on here is, this is my bug out bag. This does not include my wife's uh, or my daughter's, which is uh, kind of small because she's not living here anymore. She's at college, basically on her own. But anyhow, uh, a few things. Everybody should have their own bug out bag. Even the kids put in stuff of theirs in a backpack weight appropriate and the last page of the bug out bag is 
just some miscellaneous stuff and your medications, your personal stuff and over the counter. Good to have. Rotate it. And speaking of rotating it, you need to have a list of used by item locations. Your medicine cabinet, medical cabinet, your your carry bags, bug out bags, um, your if you got miscellaneous camping bins, disaster supply bin, your range bag. Um, if you have two range bags, you have an outdoor and indoor, check those too. And then your vehicles uh, bag also will have items in it that uh, may need to be switched out from time to time. Here's a three-day food list. And this is per person. This is what should be stockpiled. You know, and uh, if you don't like tuna, have more ham. If you don't like ham, put more tuna. And I don't have it on there, but don't forget spam. Spam is good stuff. Actually, it uh, spam won the won World War II for us. That and dry socks. Uh, people have asked me about what do you have by your bedside. That's what I have by my bedside. The top one, not the bottom one. Um, if... It was an iffy situation, civil unrest, or whatever. The bottom would also be by my side. Um, maybe not the gas mask, but everything else. But it's good to have something like that around. Um, at least N95 masks are good to have. This is a list. My son and I were goofing around one day, and we just kind of put together a list like, hey, what do you want for off-the-grid survival other than food and water and your uh, bug out bag. And we came up with these kind of items. Obviously, this is stuff that you're probably gonna use uh, if you have a, a cabin or a bug out location that's yours, you could have all this stuff stored there. You, if you're gonna be um, harboring in place or sheltering in place, you could have this at your home. Um, one of the great things on there is the game hauling cart. Anybody that uh, is a hunter knows how important that is. Uh, you can also use that game hauling cart to go get wood and move stuff around uh, from place to place. Uh, we talked about this video. This video was not that long ago. This was the uh, vacation prep. And these are the things you need to do before you, you know, you leave the house because you're kind of in a cr crazy hurry trying to get out. Uh, having a list like this is really good to have. Um, that's all the stuff you need to do. Then we have another page here of stuff that you need to do. I think that's perfectly, I guess you can read that. Uh, and all the way down at the bottom is your most is really you know the last and probably most important does someone in your family know where all your important papers are like wills insurance policies bank accounts lists locations of jewelry stocks and or bonds and do they have access to bank box and combo of your safe god forbid anything happens to you or your entire family or the rest of your family your extended family needs to know it needs to know where all this uh, important paper is maybe you and your wife are out and something happens and the kids you know need this for their future uh, or whatever um, somebody needs to know where this stuff is and the keys and all that kind of good stuff but you know where I'm going with that so I'm not gonna go any further I'm hoping this one fits on here I really didn't test it too well uh, but this is that a couple guys asked for this one. This is a quick guide to the Illinois concealed carry laws made by my son back on 1-15-2014. Uh, I don't think much has changed on these. I think they've tweaked it a little bit, but uh, this is just what a uh, a license a licensee shall permit the licensee to carry. The license shall permit the licensee to carry. And it goes into, then he goes into the, the prohibitive areas. It actually goes onto a second page. Uh, this is uh, this is obviously something that I could put on uh, YouTube. And not YouTube. I could put on Facebook on the Prep U channel. Uh, be a little bit easier to read. And it's not going to be up here long enough because I'm not going to read it to you. Because otherwise we'd have to take up too much time. And that's about it. I mean, we're pushing the... Ed 
the envelope on this video. I mean, we're already at a half hour, so basically, that's it. That is the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you out. Like I said, if you want a particular list, let me know. I'll post it on uh, the YouTube page on Facebook. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like if you liked it. Hey, if you didn't like it too, let me know. Uh, but check out, as always, check out our uh, Prep You page on Facebook. And please pass this video along to anyone you know. And please ask them to subscribe. Thanks for watching this and all my other videos. And to those that have subscribed, I thank you from the very bottom of my heart. And as always, beware of your surroundings. Be prepared to be on your own for up to 72 hours. And prep like your life depends on it because it really does. It really does. So goodbye for now. See you next time.